Hi, this is Dr. Kate Crowley from Teachers College, Columbia University in New York City. I'm happy to announce that now at leadersproject.org, we have a brand new set of materials called the Pre-SLAM. These, as usual, are evidence-based materials that look at two areas. One is whether the child can make meaningful predictions and also whether the child can identify similarity of function. So, for example, similarity of function, the trial is a fork and a spoon, how do we use them in the same way? Um, a, a tote bag and a book bag, how do we use them in the same way? We've been working on these for a couple of years and um, we've gone through a lot of versions and we're really happy with this current one that's now up. You just go on leadersproject.org and you search pre-slam. Here's a little bit of the pre-slam me making meaningful predictions. So the question is, and this is graduated prompting. So the first thing you do, because cards might not really be the most exciting thing to a child, you say, let's look at this one. There's a lot going on in this picture. What do you see? And that's really helpful, we found, with children to help them focus. And then what's, look at this girl. What will happen to her now? And uh, then there's uh, prompt one, prompt two, and then the support if the child doesn't get it. But those are all on the back of the cards. I know that's backwards. Another one is this boy. His ice cream cone is melting. He's distracted. What do you think is going to happen next? Um, or what will happen now we're using. It seemed to work much better in the field. And this last one is what will happen next? A hungry dog. Food is dropped. And the big question is, what's going to happen next? <laughs> in my family, the dog would grab the food. In other families, the children say, the dog will wait. So both answers are perfectly correct. But there is this graduated prompting approach to dynamic assessment. And you can watch how these children actually acquire this particular skill they've probably never been asked to do. These started out as preschool materials because that's where the research was that we're using, but we've also been using them with kindergartners and first graders and of course students with more difficulty with language that um, can't really access the stories in the slam cards. So again, they're at Leaders Project, all available for free. I'm delighted to have them out after working on them for about over two years. Thank you.